Hey everyone, I'm Luke from Weld Pro, and today I'm here to dive a little deeper into the TIG 200 and show you some of the features that are in the menu. Today we're going to talk specifically about the pulse features built into this machine. If you've never used a pulse control machine, it can come in very handy for lots of different applications, including thinner material. If you do auto body or any kind of spot welding, pulse might be one of the greatest features you use on the TIG 200. Let's go ahead, energize the machine, and dive into the menu and show you exactly what each parameter does. We first begin by making sure the TIG 200 is in TIG mode. We'll then go ahead and turn on our pulse control, which is located on the bottom center of the display. Next, we'll walk through each one of the pulse adjustments and show you exactly what they do. Go ahead and begin by hitting either menu button. An indicator light on the display will glow red showing you which setting you are currently adjusting. The first setting you'll find is peak amps. This is the highest amperage your machine will run at. The next setting is peak on time. This is the length of time that the peak amps will stay on before moving to the base amperage. Peak on time is represented by a percentage and can be adjusted anywhere from 10 to 90%. Once our peak on time is dialed in, we're going to go ahead and change the pulse frequency. This pulse frequency is how many times the machine will pulse per second. If we set this right now to 124, that would be 124 pulses per second. Consequently, if I set the machine back to 60, that would be 60 pulses per second. Next, we'll go ahead and adjust the base amps. This is the lowest setting the machine will revert to during the off time. During the on time, the machine will go to the peak amperage. We'll have more videos to come about welding different types of material with different pulse settings. Keep in mind, it might take some time and a little playing around to get this dialed in exactly where you like it. Hopefully you've learned a little more about the pulse control on the TIG 200. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave those below. Don't forget that our friendly technical support team is available seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and they'll be there to help you troubleshoot any problems. Please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Enable your notifications, that way you'll be alerted when we release the latest content. Thanks again, and from all of us here at Weld Pro, we can't wait to see what you build with your brand new TIG 200.